hi guys welcome back to my channel and this is jamila and today we're here for a october monthly wax haul video um i only got one order which is a pretty big size pre-order from l3 that i got this month that's it your girl has been cutting back on the shopping you know so yes so it's from l3 i forget when i really placed this order but let's just hop into it. Um, if you watch my weekly wax melt, wax melting baskets, I did pick up the, um, what is it called? The Advent, the 13 days Advent. So you would have had to watch my weekly wax melting baskets because I didn't want to, you know, show those or see what those scents are before I was supposed to open those because I open them day by day. So there's that. And let's get into the other goodies we got. Of course, we have this um, stickers sticker. It says, girls are capable of doing everything men are capable of doing. Sometimes they have more imagination than men, which is by Katherine Johnson. Super cute. Then, of course, I ordered quite a few scoops. So, I got like a spoon. And then here are these samples that I got. So, let's see what we got. Let's see. The first sample, I believe this is a little mini school which is so cute. This is Oregon Autumn. So, um, to me, it kind of smells fruity fall, if that makes sense smells like i don't know if i'm getting thrown off by the color of like orange and i'm getting mango i don't know but it smells like fruity fall it smells a little fall but a little bit of fruity so i don't have the scent notes so i can't really tell you next we have appalachian mountains let's see i like that it's kind of strong fall scent. It definitely has some masculine notes to it. Or could it be pot? Y'all, <laughs> I don't know. I have no... I guess it's like some type of... I don't know. I'm a little confused. But I actually like the scent. It may be like some type of outdoorsy but not super outdoorsy because i hate outdoorsy scents but a little bit of fall i don't know it's not like a sweet fall bakery scent at all but it's really really nice next we have sweet on paris bum bum this sounds like it's gonna smell good and it does it smells really good mm, that smells really good i'm really not into florally or perfumey scents but that sweet on pears with that bum bum amazing oh my goodness so those were the samples so yes we're gonna get into the scoopables i picked up i got picked up large scoopables i'm the type i'm not gonna get a small scoop i'm gonna get a large one so the first thing we have is pumpkin pecan waffle sugar cookie royale and zucchini bread i feel like if you know me you know oh, it smells so good and you know, scoopables, you really most of the time can't smell them until you dip into them. But these smell really, really good. So that smells really good. Next, we have banana nut bread. I love a good banana scent. And this one, let me see. I'm gonna have to get in there. I wanna dig into it because it might be a while before I melt it, but mm-hmm. It has definitely has oh it does smell like banana nut bread. Most banana scent you just get the banana, but it smells like that banana nut bread. Mmm, okay. It does have the runtiness with banana, which is always good, in my opinion, when dealing with banana scents. They tend to smell amazing on warm. Next we have Sweet Dream Snooze Button, which is cotton candy frosting, sweet lavender jet puff marshmallows. Mmm. This is going to be an amazing scent to go to sleep to um, with that lavender. But it's not going to be super strong with the um, 
with the lavender it has those like sweet scents mixed into that so that's gonna be really good next we have pretzel which mm, let's see let's choose a different finger this time to see i think this scent will be good great to mix with other scents yeah it just has those strong buttery salty notes that pretzel has so that's gonna be really nice then patch adams which is pumpkin pecan waffles butter brickle blueberry cobbler mm, this one i don't even have to kind of like rub I smell that pumpkin pecan waffles and that blueberry cobbler. Really nice scents right there. Then next we have Saturday morning cartoons, pink frosted animal cookies, which, yeah, that's what it is. Um, let's see. Mm, that smells so good. I'm getting cereal notes somewhere in here. Oh, it says this scent is made of a combination of all our favorite cereals and milk. That's why I'm getting those. It's really, really nice, but it's not a strong cereal because you have that pink frosted animal cookies. This is amazing. Love that. Definitely excited for that. We have Christmas PJs. Okay, downy sugar cookies, blue spruce. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I'm really, really liking this. This to me smells like you definitely get that downy and you get a hint of that spruce which is really, really nice. I don't know if blue spruce is some kind of like blue sugar and spruce or something like that because from some reason, I feel like I'm smelling blue sugar, but I could be, it could be the downy too as well. But this smells really, really good. Definitely a good bathroom scent, but I would definitely melt this in like other spaces as well. So really really like that scent next we have sweet on paris let them eat cake pink sugar i'm super excited because i because oh. that sample was sweet on paris bump bump and this is sweet on paris let them eat cake pink sugar clearly sweet on paris blends very well with like bakery sweet bakery notes this is amazing oh i can just see smell this in my living room oh amazing the next we have is pumpkin pecan waffles zucchini bread and today is october 3rd which is palo santo sugar cookie royale and toasted malo like oh, that smells amazing you definitely get that pumpkin pecan waffles and the today is october 3rd for sure i love today is october 3rd it's one of my favorite scents i melt it year round i love palo santo so oh amazing an amazing scent and the last scoop of what we have mm, lavender don't cross streams which is adipose vanilla cookies vanilla wafer and vanilla ice cream oh this smells so good y'all know i love me a good lavender scent with that sweet bakery note oh, amazing so yes those are all the scoops i have so i'm gonna put those away and then get into the next group of scents all right the next thing i have i have a one bitty betty which is sleep paralysis which is caramelized praline zucchini bread and cream cheese frosting let's see mm. oh i definitely smell that caramelized pralines i don't really smell any um zucchini bread but i mostly smell that caramelized pralines really really nice a good fall scent for sure i'm dropping stuff everywhere okay next i got a few puppy packs so the first one is candy corn sugar cookie dough malo fireside so let's see mm. let's take out one of these shapes yes i definitely smell a hint of that candy corn and like that malo fireside mixed in with that sweetness of that sugar cookie dough really really nice and then the next puppy pack we have is fall vibes which is pumpkin pecan waffles sugar shortbread and mac apple mm, that smells so good i know there's people who don't like apple but 
I love a good fall scent. Now, I don't just, don't just give me like a fruity apple, no. I love fall scents mixed in with apple, that have apple in them. It's so, so, so good to me. So, yes. This, you definitely smell that pumpkin pecan waffles and that mac apple in there. An amazing fall scent for sure. Next, you have candy corn vanilla pumpkin malo. I was clearly loving the candy corn scent. Mmm, that's really nice. You definitely get that pumpkin, that vanilla pumpkin and marshmallow scent in there. It's really, really nice. It's like a not super strong fall scent to melt. It's really, really nice. Really like that. And the last puppy pack I have is Nightmare on, on, Nightmare on My Street, which is salted caramel. Bath and Body Works type pumpkin pecan waffles and praline glaze. Hmm. Okay. I de definitely smell that salted caramel in there. And the pumpkin pecan waffles. So, yes, that's a really nice fall scent for sure. Then I got a few shapes. We have this cinnamon apple donut shape. I think this is like a pumpkin. Super, super cute. <sighs> cute is that mm, definitely smell like cinnamon apple donuts cinnamon apple for sure it's like a stronger cinnamon but i'm not mad at it at all so yes there's that if i can we'll try to put that together later next we have cider lane tea and cakes espresso and toasted malo let's see mmm I think it's the espresso and tea and cakes. And I was kind of so against. Somebody had like had a scent come out with tea and cakes and espresso. And I was like, mm mm. But that smells really good. Oh, I really like that scent for sure. Then the next shake we have is pumpkin pecan waffles, blackberry jam, butter cookies, vanilla wafers. I feel like I might no. I had something similar. Definitely smell that blackberry jam. And those sweet notes. Not much pumpkin pecan waffles, but I do like that scent. And the last shape we have is cinnamon sugar, golden grams, green apple kolaches. Mmm. I definitely smell the cinnamon in the green apple. Oh, that's really, it puts me in the mind of if Apple Jacks had like a fall taste to it. I know that's weird, but yeah, that's what it, what kind of reminds me of if Apple Jacks had more like a strong cinnamon scent. It's really, really nice. And last I have, um, a pack of shapes and they are the same scent this is season of the witch it is our highly sought after apples and leaves blend i've had this scent before so i had to pick up three of them and it's just so amazing and i'm not an outdoorsy girl by any measure but that leaves blended with the apple is just amazing so yes those are all the shapes we have and now I'm going to put those shapes away and we're going to get into the samplers that I bought. Okay, guys, I bought five different samplers and y'all know I love L3's Bunts and I love a good sampler pack. So the first one, I believe this is the pumpkin pecan waffle sampler. So let's open it. I always have trouble opening these i just oh it was so easy to undo my bad y'all um so let's pull them out one by one the first sample first blunt we have is pumpkin sweet cinnamon sugar pumpkin pecan waffles so i feel like pumpkin pecan waffles mostly smell the same mm, you definitely smell that pumpkin um and that sweet cinnamon sugar in that one so that one smells really really nice next we have pie crust salted caramel pumpkin pecan waffles mm, 
this one i'm definitely smelling like the pie crust like that bakery but that not sweet bakery like that that pie crust bakery scent with the caramel that's really really nice i love a good pie crust scent so yes there's that then we have blackberry jam butter cookies vanilla pound cake pup pumpkin pecan waffles i definitely smell the blackberry jam and the vanilla pound cake a little touch of the pumpkin pecan waffles so yes i feel like you can't go wrong with a pumpkin pecan waffle sampler it's very hard to do next we have cupcakes at tiffany's wildberry mousse pumpkin pecan waffles let's see because the wildberry mousse scares me I don't know why I'm getting. It's probably the bear, the wild berry. Yeah, cause for a minute it smelled kind of like chocolate. Don't mind me, y'all. That's crazy. But I think it's the wild berry mousse I'm smelling. It's not my favorite one by far, but I feel like it'll be okay for sure. Um, when those other scents come out. Next we have cardamom pumpkin pecan waffle smoked vanilla Ooh, i'm really excited about this one oh, that is amazing it's very different um with those different spices not just a cinnamon or something with that oh, smoked vanilla oh, smells so good and the cardamom mixed with that pumpkin pecan waffles really really nice scents next we have sugar shortbread maple sugar and pumpkin pecan waffles. I definitely smell that maple with that pumpkin pecan waffles. Amazing, sweet fall scent for sure. Then we have sweet bakery dough, fresh picked strawberry pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. This smells so good. I don't know why I've never thought mixing strawberry and pe pumpkin pecan waffles, but baby. That's a vibe. Oh my goodness. That's definitely going to be on my list for like a custom something. Strawberry and pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh, that smells so good. You get both of those scents. Oh, amazing. Then last of this sampler, we have Bunflower bonfire bliss palo santo sugar cookie royale and pumpkin pecan waffles oh it smells so good i'm definitely getting that palo santo oh, and the pumpkin pecan waffles that smells amazing for sure so yes that was the pumpkin pecan waffle sampler I didn't like dislike any of these. The only one that I'm like, uh, but I feel like it'll be fine is the one with the wild berry mousse, but all in all, a good sampler for sure. The next sampler we have is, let's see, is it the, okay, this is the Lee sampler. What made me get this? I don't know because we're not super big on leaves, but you know, gotta open our nose palette, <laughs> if you will. So, if we can get it. Sometimes this is a struggle for me because, yeah, but the packaging is up. I'm really gonna just cut this because I will not be storing these back in this bag anyway, so. Yeah, there's that. So, let's get into it. The first scent is Almond Macaroons Leaves Buttercream Frosting. It's really nice. I really smell that al Almond Macaroon scent. Not smelling much leaves, which I don't mind at all. So, that's the first scent. A hit so far. Next, we have Orange Autumn, which is this, Oregon Autumn, which is this scent, Leaves and Rainstorm. This is the crisp, clean, and fresh fallen leaves with a hint of rain. Let's see. It is. It's just a very fresh scent. Definitely. 
a bathroom scent for sure. So, yes, it's very just fresh and clean. Next, we have sugar cookie dough leaves coffee bean. Hmm. Of course, the coffee scent took over, but you know, you guys know I love a good coffee scent for sure. Next, we have pumpkin apple strudel leaves. Let's see. Hmm. I'm smelling more of that pumpkin apple strudel scent. I feel like they didn't put much leaves in these, which I'm not mad about. And it might come out on warm. But yes, I definitely smell the cinnamon notes. The cinnamon. Yeah, the cinnamon notes and that pumpkin apple strudel. It smells really, really nice. It smells like very much fall. Then we have hay leaves, cinnamon donuts type. Let's see. Now this one. I don't know if it's because the hay leaves. Yeah, mm -mm. I don't like that. You know, that's going to go in the giveaway section. I think it's the hay leaves for me. I don't smell any cinnamon donuts type, but I every time I give something away to my mom that I absolutely hate, she loves it. So that's going to my mom for sure. Um, next we have cinnamon red hot candies vanilla cupcake leaves. I have a feeling if this is very cinnamon for it, I'm not going to like it. I hate red hot candy chewing gum. So let's see. Yes, it smells like a red hot. It's actually not that bad. But this is a scent that I feel like my mother would enjoy more. So I'm going to pass that on to her as well that scent is not bad i would um melt it but i think my mom would enjoy it more and now we have today's october 3rd leaves which is palo santo sugar cookie royale toast malo i'm hoping for the best okay all i smell is palo santo today is october 3rd i don't smell any leaves which i'm still not mad about <laughs> Um, but like I said, the leaf scent might come out on warm. And last but not least, we have graham crackers, toasted mallow leaves. So let's see. I smell the graham crackers and the toasted mallow, of course. I've only I was able to smell the leaves in the hay rides one, hay leaves one. So yes. So yes, this scent... This little sampler was not a bad one. It's only one I actually be hated. And then the other one, I'm just going to give it away because I know my mom would enjoy it more. So, there is that sampler. All right. The next sampler we have is, is this the laundry sampler? I think so. I don't know. So, think it might be the laundry sample but i'm not even gonna play these games with this thing because like i said i'm not gonna store them in here so the first one we have is lemon sugar fluffy towel strawberry sugar let's see mm, that's really really nice yeah i think this might be the laundry scent one Oh, that smells really good. That fruit with those fluffy towels. Oh, amazing. Love that for me. Then we have green clover and aloe, bun side and clean cotton. Oh, love, love, love this for me. Um, that smells really, really good. Next, we have Lavender Mallow Spin Cycle. Oh, that's a cute name. Um, the spin cycle is interesting. Because... Um, <laughs> I think I'm breathing in too deep because it smelled good, but then I'm inhaling more and I don't like it. But I smell slight, a slight bit of lavender. Um, but that spin cycle is definitely something i haven't smelled 
but it's very interesting and different but definitely a bathroom scent for sure all these are bathroom scents um next we have flannel sheets pacific woods woolen blanket let's see mm, that smells really good once again a nice just really nice scent to melt in the bathroom i think i'm smelling i don't know if i'm smelling flannel she, it's the flannel sheets i'm smelling it smells like dryer sheets but a good smelling dryer sheet i hope that makes sense a lot of these scent notes i'm not super familiar with so yeah next we have clean cotton flannel sheets spring breeze this sounds amazing oh that's really really nice oh smells really good um that clean cotton and spring breeze is everything next we have pink sugar spin cycle pink chiffon oh, i'm really excited about this mm. yeah that spin cycle is definitely i definitely can smell it in here and then that pink sugar and pink chiffon mixed in Oh, amazing absolutely amazing next we have febreze original fresh picked strawberries warm vanilla sugar this is gonna be a vibe oh my goodness i love a good laundry scent, and a lot of times we don't gravitate toward them well i don't but i try to pick the, like laundry or because those are the scents i melt in my bathroom Oh, that smells amazing. That Febreze and those strawberries. A vibe for sure. I'm trying to... Yeah, there we go. And last but not least, we have Evenings in the Hamptons After Shave and Clementine. I love a good masculine scent to melt in my bathroom. Oh, that smells really good. This is definitely a bathroom scent. It almost like smells very, very fruity, but then you get that note of the aftershave. That's really, really nice. I really enjoyed these laundry scents. So that is all we have. I'm assuming, I cannot remember what the name of this um, sampler was, but I think it's like a laundry sampler of some sort. So, yes, that was that sampler. And we're not done because I went crazy with the sample. I think I got every sampler that was offered. I think this is the apple. Yeah, this is the apple um sampler, I believe. All right. First things first. First, we have pistachio macaroon cider lane whipped cream. Y'all know me and pistachio. We don't really buy, but yeah um not really smelling much from this scent at all i think it has to be me and pistachio yeah i don't smell anything and so it has to be me and pistachio because i've smelled every single every other scent i could smell it so there's that next we have vanilla pumpkin malo cider lane let's see Wait, I thought these were, I don't know. Because this don't say anything about apple. No, this is a cider. I'm slow. <laughs> this is a cider lane, um, which I love cider lane. Oh, smell that cider lane for sure. Mixed with that pumpkin. Amazing. My fall scents are going to be popping next year for sure. Because I will probably be saving these for next year. Um, this is Spice Peaches Cider Lane Milo Fluff. Mmm, that's really, really nice. That peaches is a vibe. It smells like the peaches you would put in a peach um, cobbler, but without the bakery Brady notes. Spice Peaches with that Cider Lane. That's really nice. Next, we have white vanilla bean, no, whole vanilla beans, cider lane, and toasted malo. Let's see. I'm mostly smelling, I smell a hint, like a slight, slight hint of that 
um, cider lane, but mostly it's like the vanilla beans I'm smelling, which is really nice. Because sometimes I feel like fall scents can be super, super strong, but sometimes those lighter fall scents are really nice to melt. Next, we have apple butterscotch cake. No, apple butterscotch pound cake cider lane. I love apple butterscotch scent. Oh, it smells so good. I can't believe I used to be like anti-fall scents. Like, like who am I? <laughs> this smells so good. Apple butterscotch cake and cider lane. Like, girl, a vibe. Next, we have pumpkin apple strudel. Strudel. <laughs> pumpkin. I swear, y'all. I just had coffee, so that's why I'm a little hyper. Pumpkin apple strudel butter brickle cider lane. Um, I definitely smell the pumpkin scent. Um, and... Maybe the butter, butter brickle. I still don't know what that is. But it's not like a super fave scent of mine. But it's not like a bad scent to me. I don't really smell much cider lane in that. But I'll be definitely interested to see what that smells like on warm come next year. Next we have Cookie Therapy Cider Lane Twilight Woods. Which is Santa's on Keto. Oh, cookie Therapy is Santa's on Keto Pretzel Sugar Shortbread. Let's see. Um, I thought I would be able to tell what Twilight Wood smells like, but I mostly smell the cookie therapy, which I'm not mad about. And last but not least, we have Fuji Apple, Mac Apple, and Cider Lane. I've never had a Fuji Apple scent, which, let me tell you, I love that. You smell all those apple notes with that cider lane. Absolutely amazing. So, yes, that was that cider lane sampler. Um, really, really nice. I love some cider lane. So, yes. And we have one more sampler to get through, and that will be our haul for the month. Like, who is she? All right, last but not least, we have, uh, y'all know I had to get the coffee sampler, like, because who doesn't, well, I know some people don't like coffee scents, and, well, when I was young, I didn't like the scent or taste of coffee, but now, um, I love iced coffee, so yes, first scent we have is Irish Cream Cappuccino Sugar Cookie. y'all i love irish cream during like march duncan had this irish cream and i was getting it all the time oh, that smells really really good it just doesn't smell like pure coffee that cappuccino allows the irish cream to come out and it is so good it smells really really good next we have amaretto cream cheese frosting and coffee bean mm. For me, I know Amaretta is supposed to be like a nutty scent, but it has that cherry note to me. I, I don't know. I could be crazy, but I feel like I'm right. And that cherry with that nuttiness in the Amaretto, plus that coffee bean is such a vibe. It smells really good. Next, we have Blueberry Muffin Espresso Whole Vanilla Bean. Oh, that's shocking. The blueberry is actually coming out because most time espresso overpowers things, but that blueberry is definitely coming out with the espresso. Really, really nice. Next, we have sweet cinnamon sugar espresso with sweet with sweet cream. Mmm, that's good. Definitely smell that cinnamon sugar. That's mostly all I smell, which I really, really like. I'm glad these coffee scents haven't been, like, too overpowering. Next we have is Cafe C Palo Santo Toasted, 
toasted my little. I don't know what Cafe C is, but listen. Mmm. Definitely smell the Palo Santo and the toasted Malo. I don't know what Cafe C is, to, but I don't smell much coffee coming from that at all. Um, next, we have Peppermint Mocha Adipose Cookie. Peppermint Mocha Adipose Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Mm, that smells like literally a peppermint mocha. Smells really good. It's, I don't, I'm not a big fan of chocolate, but that smells really good. Next, we have vanilla ice cream French vanilla espresso. I feel like I should have got two of these. Like, they're really, really nice. Okay. Oh, you can smell the ice cream. That's really, really nice. Okay. You smell that ice cream and that French vanilla. Amazing. Not much espresso, but I'm not mad about it. And then last but not least, we have pumpkin spice latte pecan pie whipped cream. Hmm. I definitely smell the pumpkin spice latte with that pecan pie. That's up. Oh, that smells really good. So, yes, that was our last sampler. I feel like L3 really does not do wrong with these samplers. She really like hits. So, yes, I really, really enjoyed all of these samplers. I'm trying to stuff them all back in. I feel like. I grabbed this thing that I wasn't supposed to. Anyway, yes, those are all the samplers, and that that is everything I picked up this month. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like my content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.